A very good morning, Abid to Dr. Adib and Associate Prof. Engineer Dr. Ching. My name is Haikal Farhan and we are from Group 9 presenting on the topic production of acetaldehyde from oxidation of ethylene. In the oxidation of ethylene, there are three reactions involved with one main reaction and two set reactions in a bubble column reactor. The process is also known as Wecker process. The reaction involved are shown in the following equation. The operation conditions are temperature of 125 degrees Celsius, pressure of 3 bar, conversion reaction is 75% and the catalyst used are palladium 2 chloride and copper 2 chloride. Our objective is to design a plant that can produce 34,906.7 tonne per year of acetaldehyde. I am Iza and I will present the block flow diagram of our process. Firstly, the process is started by feeding ethylene and oxygen into the bubble column reactor. Then we will have two streams which are the catalyst regeneration stream and the product stream. In the catalyst regeneration stream, copper oxalate form will be oxidized in the regenerator to regenerate copper chloride. In the product stream, um, for product will be converted from gas to liquid and then the stream will be fed into the scrubber to remove gases such as ethylene, carbon dioxide and oxygen. Only liquid product is left. Liquid product will go through a distillation column to separate ethyl chloride and acetaldehyde and then the bottom product will undergo a further purification into the next distillation column to obtain acetaldehyde, our main product, at the top stream. Hi, my name is Sharul. I'll be presenting for piping details. Uh, for piping details, the NPS, schedule number, as well as pipe material are determined by using ASMEB 31.3 process piping code article provided by lecturers. So for stream number 1, 3, 4, and 7 are process streams which consist of reactants and products while stream number 28 and 29 are utility stream which consists of cooling water. The details of the pipe can be seen as provided. For reactor design, the calculation of parameters of the bubble column reactor is mostly adapted from chemical reactor book from design to operation provided by Dr. Adip. Big thanks to Dr. Adip. The reactor operating condition is at 125 degrees Celsius and a pressure of 3 bar. Uh, the pressure drop of the bubble column is estimated to be 16.6 kPa while the power consumption is 247 Joule per meter cube second. The column material chosen is stainless steel 316 due to its resistance to local plastic deformation, while sponge type chosen is multiple ring form. The specific sizing of reactor can be seen as in the figure provided. Thank you. So this is our piping and instrumentation diagram or PNID for the reactor. The PNID are made by referring to the hazard studies on the reactor. The safety studies on the reactor was done on the flow rate, temperature and pressure parameters. A function of fit stream valve, leakage in the fit stream and blockage in the fit stream can happen in the reactor. This can be prevented by installing high or low fit alarm, low flow rate sensor and conduct scheduled inspections. Meanwhile, Excess temperature build up and insufficient heat supply can happen in the reactor too. By installing temperature sensor and high or low temperature alarm, this can be averted. Lastly, by installing pressure control system, high or low pressure alarm and pressure indicator, the rises of pressure in the reactor and malfunction of pressure control valve can be mitigated. Thank you. Hi, I'm Medicine Director Nanoman. So uh, I would like to present about costing. As you can see on the screen, is the amount that we have operated. Uh, for major equipment cost, it's the very critical because it's covering the amount of equipment delivery. The next one is total capital investment, which can be divided into two. The first one is fixed capital investment, which can be calculated uh, by the total of both direct and indirect costs. The next one is working capital cost, uh, which included the raw material and supplies and monthly payments, including service and taxes. 
The next one is cost manufacturing, which is the plant operating basis, included the operating labor cost and the cost of raw and catalyst materials. And the next one is the DMC. DMC is, uh, can be created by the addition of direct materials, direct labor, and manufacturing overheads. The next one is FMC, which is some of the example is taxes, insurance, and depreciation. Last but not least is the GE, uh, which is some of the example is management, sales, and finance. That's all from our group. Thank you.